Welcome back everybody for our next review. Today's review is going to be Factory Smokes by Drew Estates. Now this is a Maduro. It is a uh, Nicaraguan wrapper and the binder and filler is Indonesian. And the cigar is a budget friendly cigar. You can get a uh, pack of 20 five of them. This is a 6x60 Gordito. Don't ask me why. It's a Gordo, but they call it Gordito. And it is about 50 bucks. So you can't beat 50 cigar or $50 cigar or $50 for a bundle of 25 cigars. And we're going to go ahead and cut it up and get into the pre-draw. All right, into the pre-draw we did a straight cut on the top. Getting a little bit of a pack draw not too hard that you can't inhale but it's not perfect in my opinion it is a little it is a little more than spongy to the touch it is a little more hard it just depends it doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad cigar but we are getting the raisin profile a little bit of a black pepper on that Nicaraguan Nicaraguan wrapper there is a little bit of a sweetness like a dried fruit sweetness coming through but man it is definitely a tasty cigar and for the price point you can't beat it with that said go ahead let's light it up and get into the first third of the factory smoke maduro by drew estates just give it a little bit enough to roast it we don't want to get the flame too close. Just enough to get it started. A little bit of a, a turn while you're lighting it to give it a more even for those who are new. I always like to get just a little bit of the edge started. Just something I do, not something you have to do. I notice that when I do that, it tends to keep burning evenly. Because on these larger cigars, if you don't get one edge, it'll start the canoe or even tunnel if you just concentrate on the middle of the cigar. I'm getting a baker's spice, almost like a uh, little bit of a hint of a nutmeg, a little bit of a leather profile taste. Now I've had this cigar multiple times in the past. And this may be a little bit of a faster review. Maybe, maybe not. I'm going with the way the sun is setting. It might be getting a little too dark quick. And I apologize if it gets too dark too quick for you. But man, it is definitely a good cigar. As you can see, for a budget cigar, you can see the veins. You can see the seams. The seams are not invisible like on some cigars. It just means it, that they're a little predominant. They're not what they consider some consider high grade tobacco for flawless but man it is a tasty stick Drew Estates has outdid it again and I know this is a popular cigar with a lot of budget smokers because it is a great price point for what kind of cigar it is you can purchase this on Cigar International you can purchase this on uh, JR.com I'm not sure if Thompson shows it or not but I know a lot of the shops in the Valley carry it. I know a lot of the shops in the Valley run out of it. And mainly they run out of the Robusto and the Toro because a lot of guys prefer that. I prefer a little bit stoutier, bigger cigar, which gives me a little more binder and filler of that Indonesian. But with that said, we're gonna keep going through it. I'm back with the second thirds of the Factory Smoke Maduro by Drew Estate. Welcome back everybody for the second third of a review of the Factory Smokes Maduro by Drew Estates. Now in the second third I am noticing a little more of an espresso profile on the cigar. For those who don't know, it is a medium strength cigar so it's right in the middle. It's not a uh, strong, strong Maduro, but it's not a weak one either. It's right in the middle. It's a great barbecue cigar, uh, cut in the yard, doing landscaping, gardening, whatever you do outside, working on the car, who knows, whatever, but it is a great cigar and it is a definitely a good uh, 
cigar to try, especially if you're new to cigars and you're looking for a little more strength than maybe a real mild cigar. But it is something you can enjoy if you haven't tried Maduros because you are thinking they're too strong. I don't like them that strong or I don't like them that full strength. This is it. And there are a lot of them out there. So give it a look, give it a whirl. As you can see, it is burning good. It's not razor sharp, but man, it is good. And the ash does not fall off into your lap, causing problems when you're trying to do something. It does need to be knocked off, but man, good, no tunneling, no mouse holes, no construction issues so far. With that said, we're gonna keep going at it. I'll be back with the final third of Factory Smokes Maduro, Gordo, right after this. All right, everybody, welcome back for the final third of the Factory Smoke Maduro by Drew Estate. It is still perfectly where it needs to be. Again, no construction issues. The burn is a little uneven, but man, I have to say it is good. And if you don't believe me, buy one, try it, and let me know. Because I will stand behind it. It is a very popular budget cigar out there, as I said earlier. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that smash button, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day, have a great smoke, and I will see you next time.